All right. Larry back here with you on the completion of the Lunar Models Sea View. All that's left right now is to put the plaque on it for my friend. As I said, this is a Christmas present. And uh, package it up <coughs> and ship it out. So, so I'll give you one last look. So I got the lights lit. Uh, the damn light on the conning tower went out on me. I'm not about to rip it apart, but as you can see, it's got the masks off. Got the uh, nose lit. Got the control room lit as far back as the crash doors. So you got the little map table, I guess. And there's a couple of figures sitting in there. But this thing's running off of 9 volts. So we got the little mini flying sub. There, it's all resin. Uh, what I did with that was, you know, painted it. <coughs> and then painted the windows white. And then put some solar res in the windows. And hardened it. So it kind of gives it, uh, you know, a nice, like there's glass in there. So... But uh, I'm, all in all, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it came out. So, as you can see, uh, Mr. Jerry Hitchcock over there at HDA Model Works gave me the templates for the limber holes, and they came out really good. What I, my mistake was that there's one more row of uh, limber holes that comes up basically up into the, uh, the front here, and I overlooked that, so it's my bad. But, you know, he did a good job. You know, I'm really happy with those. So, uh, some of the other details. I got to put in the uh, the two little antennas. Actually, I'm not going to put them in for the shipping, but uh, I'll just have uh, my friend put them in uh, when he receives it. But uh, I gave it a little bit of weathering. Uh, just took a little bit of burnt umber and some uh, dark brown, thinned it down with some mineral spirits, and kind of went over a little bit. Just creases and crevices kind of thing uh, and then I shot the whole thing in a uh, satin finish and it darkened it up uh, a lot so but uh, put in some rudder controls but uh, it's all in all it came out really good I'm happy with it like I said it's running off of 9 volts running out the base um, and what else I mean there's, here's a shot of the flying sub so but like I said I'm, I'm really happy the way this thing turned out I'm glad I got it off the uh, got it out of the closet you know damn thing's been sitting in there for shit 35 years so uh, yeah one more shot so but this is 32 inch sea view so it's about seven inches shorter than the, the Mobius one so but all in all, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's good representation. You know, rivet counters will be going, oh, bloody hell, what the hell did he do? But anyway, uh, like I said, it's good representation. I think he'll be happy with it. I don't know where he's going to put it, but, you know. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to give you a comparison between the two. So the front one, the foreground, is the Lunar Models, 32-inch sea view. And the one in the back is my Mobius 39 inch that I had done, I guess back in 2014. I did it, uh, did a blog on the uh, Sci Fi Model Action uh, website, it's no longer up there. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that took me 10 months to build. So, but I kind of uber detailed. The, the cockpit, or the, uh, yeah, the cockpit, the uh, control room <laughs> added the sea lab in hyper detail, the, uh, the flying sub. So, I mean, one little hog wild. But, you know, like I said, 10 months of my time invested in this one. Photo etch, everything, you know. Really happy the way that came out. And then, uh, like I said, the the 32 inch, I had started back then, and that was going to be my test bed for the paint, and uh, 
kind of got put on the wayside. So, but you can see the difference between the two. No much smaller. In fact, the same guy that uh, that designed the Lunar Models one had his hand in the uh, Mobius uh, Sevia. It was Jim Key. And uh, you know, there's some subtle differences. You know, most likely the the, uh, the nose on the the Lunar Models was a little more blunt. I had added the uh, the the nose, you know, sticking out a little bit more, and I actually you can see I went a little too crazy. Spotlight's a little bit off, but you know, it was off on the other one. So, but anyway, so uh, just a little bit of comparison between the two, and I've had enough of sea views for now. So, on to other projects. Appreciate you looking. Thank you.